Welcome, YouTube. We are back. YouTube play of the day time for today's slate. It is Thursday. We got a big slate today. Um, so I got two plus money spots for you guys today. Continuing the the plus money um, on looks. Um, we've been doing these quite a bit now. We passed the prop. Um, we're doing a lot of plus money as well, um, and, and it's been good to us. It, it allows you to go one and one and still be profitable, right? So it's, it just kind of helps you out um, in the long run too to just be playing you know, 20 cents better and don't have to fight off those. So um, we're not uh, losing money on one in one days like we would if we, we played some juice. So uh, two spots that I really do like today and uh, let's get it started. First play I'm doing, Jesus Lazardo uh, under one and a half walks at plus 100. Um, I absolutely love Jesus Lazardo. He's one of my favorite guys to watch. Uh, really fun young pitcher. I have him in fantasy, I have him in DFS. I have him in best ball for the whole year. So um, just really invested in this guy and really like what he has here. Um, what I do love is that the Red Sox best hitters, right, are going to be all left-handed bats, right? You think about the, the Red Sox this year, Yoshida, lefty, Verdugo, lefty, Devers, lefty, right? The, the rest of this order, right, we have um, obviously Justin Turner, who's who's been good for them this year. But let's look at the rest of this. They got Raf Snyder, obviously Duvall's been pretty good. Um, but then Arroyo, Kike, and uh, Colton Wong, or not Colton, Wong, Connor Wong at, at the catcher position. So the, the guys you're really worried about are obviously Verdugo, um, Devers, and um, Yoshida. Obviously tough spots there. Roth Snyder um, is pretty much just in there to hit lefties. But when we look at Lazardo so far this year, um, against left-handed batters, right, uh, he has a 1.4% walk rate, right? That is absolutely phenomenal. Um, a 192 FIP, which is unbelievable. Um but on the road this year, only a 4.9% walk rate. Um, obviously getting a ton of swings and misses. We should be seeing um, regression as well, um, positively, from his, his FIP being a 4.4 on the road to now being a 3.6 as an ex-FIP there. So obviously that's important as well um, to see he might be doing better, right? So just looking at how he's progressed in his career as well, 2021, 11% walk rate, 8.8, .8, and now 6.2 this year. Every year, continuing to get better. Um, and just looking at his game logs here, he's been phenomenal um, to this number, hitting the last three games. Um, he's got elite stuff. I think that he is finally realizing if I put the ball in the zone, um, we're going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. Um, and obviously, he's not giving up a ton of power, which also really helps as well. Um, uh, I think it's his slugging is sub 300 to lefties, 467 to righties. Um, just a guy that you want to back here. Obviously, so far this year, he's been hit a little bit better um, on the road. But I'm going to be rolling with Lazardo to find a way to keep the ball in the zone all the time here. Uh, you got elite stuff, uh, high-end fastball. I'm going to continue to keep putting the ball in the zone and not giving out any free passes today. So the one with Hayes with Lazardo, plus 100. I think that's, an, uh, that's a great price tag um, here. And thinking that we're going we're gonna to crush this one. Both of these are actually my tournament plays for today. Um, myself and Ice Picks continue to, to move on. We're to the head-to-head -head stages um, in this tournament, in this duo tournament. Uh, first tournament I've done in a long time. Um, and you know I only play plus money in those. So just, just a heads up, these will be my tournament plays, obviously VIP plays as well. And I'm going to Adam Wainwright over seven and a half hits allowed. This is an absolutely massive number. Um, scary if you're not... <laughs> If you're not into or not looking at um, the body of work, you can look right here, plus 115, plus 100 um, over on DraftKings, just pulling that up so you guys can see it. Um, but Adam Wainwright has been atrocious uh, and, and even worse at home, right? At home this year, 703 ERA, 369 batting average allowed, 398 to left-handed batters, 306 to righties on the year. I, I do like that so far this year, uh, even though he's been – pretty bad. He's only allowed eight home runs in 46 innings. Um, and he's only had 13 walks. So um, those are important to me because when you, when you start giving up home runs, um, you start struggling that way, right? Uh, then you come out of the game, right? Walks, push that pitch count up. Uh, and, and that's really not where we want to be, right? We want to be, you know, fighting, fighting and allowing those managers to kind of understand, oh, we need to, we need to go here. Um, yesterday, uh, we saw the Cardinals bullpen have to throw quite a bit. Um, and Wainwright, Obviously, can eat up innings, right? Outside of the last game, which was that London game where he got absolutely shelled uh, for seven earned, did hit this number, 11 hits, and only 72 pitches, which is great. Um, he went 93 
um, in that prior start, 98 pitches in the start before that, and 106 for that one. So he's actually hit this in five of his last six, um, with one of them being by the hook to the Mets. Um, I love this Houston offense. Um, Jose Abreu is really taking that step forward. Um, I do wish they had a few more lefties in this lineup um, just because Wainwright is worse versus lefties. But still, like I said, 306 batting average is nothing is not good. Um, so I, I continue to, to play this play. I'm continuing to love it at plus money. They, they opened it up at, at this number, went down to six and a half minus 170. Um, and that probably became a parlay piece for a lot of people. I think eight hits is right right in where I would put it, eight or nine hits. Um, and if they're going to allow him to go 100 pitches, which I think they will um, after last night's debacle there, I think that we could definitely see these guys um, allowing him to go a little deeper. Um, you saw him have 10 runs allowed yesterday, which is obviously not very good. But you go over to St. Louis, uh, Mike Lewis went five and two-thirds, but you've seen Peante, 17, right? You've seen Gallagos, who's not going to pitch today, and Verhagen are not going to throw today. So those are two of their higher-end guys back there. Um, and those, those guys are both unavailable, guaranteed, today. So um, I do expect to see um, some hits galore here. Michaelis allowed seven yesterday. I definitely think Michaelis at this point in his career is better than Wainwright. So um, I love this spot. I think that plus money, uh, we I can't get away from seeing the plus money tag on, on a spot. I've been backing six and a half um, to the moon. Um, and I think with this Houston offense finally back clicking, this is a tough spot for them. So Jesus Lazardo under one and a half walks plus 100. Wainwright over seven and a half hits allowed plus 115. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. These are both plays coming up in about three or four hours. So lock these in and hopefully we can get another sweep here today. So have a good one, guys. Best of luck. And I'll see you tomorrow for Pass the Prop.